We are talking to Benny Anderson and Bjorn Alvaez, who are the composers of Christina, coming to Carnegie Hall in its New York premiere. Tell us a little bit about what made you want to write this particular story. Well, it's based on a very famous Swedish novel called The Emigrants. And it simply was, uh, you know, a story that appealed to us and I think appealed to Benny musically and me lyrically. Um, that's why we chose it. Actually, we set out to find something, as I mean, the material for another musical, a little thin book, like 100 pages, so we could sort of give us some space. And this is a novel, four novels, 2,000 pages. <laughs> and it was also the basis of a film, if I remember. Did you guys watch the film to prepare for this, or is it very different from the movie? Well, the film follows the, the, the novels fairly uh, accurately, you know, but uh, so we didn't, we didn't look at the film while doing this because we saw the film, but we read the book several times again. And, uh, yeah. I, I would say that we had to make uh, some hard choices because 2,000 pages and you, you want to press that down to a musical. So we, the first choice we made was to uh, make Christina the main character. And why her? Why is she the person to, uh, we attach to? I, I, I think by intuition, I just felt she is the one. I want to follow her more than anyone else. I don't know about you. But every, everything, yes, that's true, because everything circles around her. So she is a woman, and this is the 1850s, but nothing will happen in Moberg's story without her being uh, up for it. You know? so it's, it's re and she is... She is also the source of most of the sentiment in this, mm. you could yeah. say, yeah. Did you have an actress in mind while you were writing this? Do you ever do that? Do you write with particular people in mind? Well, we didn't know that we had one in mind, but we, we had Helen Schoholm, who's, who's singing Christina um, at Carnegie Hall. She was with us from the word go. She did the first demos for us. And uh, then it was later that we realized she was the one. And I think that we had her in mind all the time without knowing it. Yeah, absolutely. I did. But Christina in the movies and in the books are, is a tall blonde woman. And Helen is not a tall blonde woman. She's a small dark woman. But, uh, and we didn't know if she could act or not. We knew she could sing. But we had auditions and she was by far, as we felt, the best actress that we saw. And we auditioned like 2,000 girls. Wow. Now, for fans of yours, of course, know your music from Ava, and for the musical theater fans who know your music from chess, how do you compare, is maybe not the best word, but how does this score sort of relate to those previous works? Well, Mamma Mia is completely different, obviously. Uh, that's a, a musical comedy. This is more serious. And... Um, this is uh, a bit operatic, wouldn't you say? In, Absolutely, in its you, style. Could, you could say it's, it's sort of a development from chess. If you take, if you take Mamma Mia or Abba for that matter, and then you have chess, which has some symphonical parts in it, and then to Christina, who is, which is totally symphonical all the way through. It's not, well, maybe there's a snare drum every now and then, but it's a symphonical piece, and it's almost totally composed through. So it's, it's more, it has more of an opera format yeah. without scaring people off. We sail in opposite directions They wave and 